I don't even know what to ask you. I'm so pumped. We've already been talking for a little bit. What would happen if I hit a nail right through the battery? We do not recommend anybody poke any holes in any batteries anytime. A few months ago, I was at the Cyber Rodeo in Austin, Texas, and I was able to see the thing that I was most excited about, the 4680 batteries and the assembly line. They had them taken apart and coming down from the rafters. Why am I so excited about a battery? The technology inside of it is going to transform the way electric cars are made in the future. Today, I found a 4680 battery that I get to have, that I can do whatever I want with it, take it apart, stick a nail through it, do whatever. But I had to come to Detroit, Michigan, in to this place, Monroe and Associates. Luckily, there's people out there that are cool enough to buy a Tesla Model Y from Texas with the 4680 batteries in it and take the entire thing apart. That's this place. So yes, there is a YouTube channel called Monroe Live. These are the two brains behind the show. Why do you have so many torn down Teslas? We tear a lot of Teslas apart because our job is to try and find technology that's usable in other industries. Now, Tesla's about five to 10 years ahead of everybody else, but it takes them that long to catch up. The problem with these poor buggers that are trying to compete against Tesla is that wherever Tesla is now, in 10 years, Tesla's gonna be in another place. So we wanna know what's going on. We don't just do videos and uh, tear cars apart. We actually do new product development. That's our real, yeah. that's our real job. <laughs> it costs us about 750,000, that's cost, $750,000 to have the guys tear it apart. Oh These guys are goodness. automotive engineers. They tore everything yeah. apart. It's all been costed. It's been um, every every material on here we know, every nut, bolt, screw, everything right down to the last uh, rivet or weld has been uh, documented. So uh, let's have a look at my office. But before you do that, did you, did you see this guy? What, the Predator? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, only he's made out of car parts. Uh, this was a present. Wow. We have saved companies from going bankrupt. Look at that. <laughs> I, I can't believe. This is called silent oh chain. This is uh, our timing chain. <clears throat> yeah. What? These are all car parts. So this is a Nissan uh, rocker cover. How heavy is this thing, do you think? Uh, yeah, I know exactly. It's just under a ton. <laughs> yeah. Not the sharpest. I don't want it any sharper than it is, actually. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's fine right now. It's good enough for you. Okay, we got the Predator. We got the Cyber Quad. We've got an airplane in yeah. here somehow. Well, okay. that's, we were going to design We did design an airplane. That's it right there. And our sponsor, giving us half a billion dollars, was uh, was Lehman Brothers. Oh, they my were gosh. The first to go, so. so has Elon come to you about making an electric airplane yet? Uh, anybody that wants an electric airplane, I'd be happy. Monroe and Associates would be happy to jump on, on board with that. This is amazing. I've already learned a ton. And they're working on tons of different vehicles. Like right here, I spy a Rivian headlight. Car parts everywhere, documenting them, putting them on boards. I mean, just this zone right here are just more Teslas taken apart. Like the older year Teslas. They have everything put inside of the little baggies that are all the different parts. There's the battery case right there. Look at that, another one, all set up, everything. This is a Tesla Model Y, this is a Tesla Model 3. There's a different zone from the Tesla with all the different wires. So they're broken down into zones based off of what part of the vehicle it is. And every single part is labeled and is out and is ready for documentation for whoever wants to come and pay to be able to get insights from this. There you go, even BMW i3, see a couple of those on the road sometimes. There's some of their parts right there, Chevy Bolt over there. Look at this, VW ID4. That is a very strange looking inside of the box right there. And then right here, we've got all the different parts from the Teslas. This Tesla Model 3 inverter, converter, Nissan Leaf, I used to own one of those. Tesla Model S, Tesla Model Y. What's interesting is when people come and look at this, yeah, it just looks like a PCB board, like you see inside of any type of electronics thing that we take apart, computers, laptops, whatever. But Tesla is actually a really, really good company when it comes to chips. They label everything on here. Like you can see, body, frunk. They label all the different areas on this PCB board so that they know exactly where to go and what to look for. And apparently, again, I'm no expert with this, but according to the experts, when other companies do come here and look at that, they're kind of blown away with, oh my gosh, Tesla does this. Check this out, you see that little uh, bottle that looks like a ketchup bottle? This is called the, what did you say it's called? Super, Super bottle. <laughs> Super bottle. This is the thermal system 
for a Tesla Model 3, is that right? Looking inside of the thermal systems, the coolant systems, the heating systems for Tesla, they are far ahead of the other manufacturers. And it's not just me saying this, it's a lot of the engineers saying this. And if you look at this thing, you would pour coolant in the top of it and it goes down and it has all these different things like arteries. This is basically the heart of the car. It's just another one of those things that Tesla does a really good job at. And then a couple of years later, they've changed this into this giant one right here. One fifth the size of what you'd see other heat pumps in like a, in a Jaguar or a Nissan. Tesla Model S Plaid, Mach E Ford, and then we are gonna go in here where it says, do not enter. I'm entering, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here we go, oh my gosh, oh, there we go. Garage is shutting. This is top secret, everybody. We gotta shut the garage. This is the famous, infamous battery pack. Yeah. I kind of feel a little like I shouldn't touch it because it might be dangerous. No, don't touch, no, don't touch. <laughs> don't touch. Don't touch. Don't um, touch. So if you put your hand right here, you'd only have the potential of each individual battery. But You're we're not, not going to. <laughs> we're not. So we are seeing what's inside of the 4680 battery pack. What is the deal with all this pink stuff in here? It's very structural. So this is yeah. a structural mm, pack. That's right. right. This is a huge departure from the other packs on the 2170s for the Model 3s and Model Ys. This foam is essentially expanded between the cells yeah. themselves and the top, the the top of the cover of the battery, which ends up being the floor of the car. We built our own tools for extraction. So these, oh my uh, gosh. When we are Where's pulling the cells out, here's one that's been used extensively. <laughs> no way. Essentially, it's exactly the right size to go right around the cell, and then we we core them out. Are you yeah. kidding me? This is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Tearing down a car is no easy thing, and you have to create tools in order to take the things out to make it safe. Uh, the old Tesla batteries had a normal cover, they were bolted to the bottom of the car, and then they had a floor of the car. So when the cover was on this, if you knocked on this battery, it was like knocking on a brick of concrete. Oh yeah. What you're seeing here is um, what I think is the most effective and efficient way of getting the job done. If I was gonna design my own car, it would look just like that, or very similar to that. By the way, Detroit is hot, so if I'm sweating a little bit, it's a little <laughs> bit hot and humid here, I'm surprised. So here's a question for you. What would happen if I hit a nail right through the battery? Well, Wait, that depends on which direction. That's something you might want to put on your channel. <laughs> you yeah. wouldn't advise it. I know you wouldn't advise it, but. Oh. Not what I expected. There's some battery acid coming out of it right there. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's crazy. You must oh, have no. it. Shut the door. Shut the door. If you go this way uh, through the battery, mm, it might smoke or something like that. But if you go that way through the battery, um, especially if you do it on a slight angle, um, you're gonna have a serious issue. And uh, we do not recommend anybody poke any holes in any batteries anytime. Yes. It's not a smart move. Just leave them the way they are. Come on <laughs> in, I'll show you my eyes. It's Oof. kind of interesting. <laughs> or oh. different, anyway. Oh. oh, the AC is nice, look at this. I was born in military families. Up here you've got every type of rifle that's been used since the French Indian Wars. Civil War, World War I, World War II. This is the first one of the uh, batteries, that, or the first cell that came out of the battery pack. Mm. And um, I right now have a, um, I right now have a niece, a, a god niece, a grand niece, um, who's got cancer and uh, it's her second kick at the cat. So this is gonna be to the highest, to the person who puts the most money into her GoFundMe account and they'll get that. Oh. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea. And so we're gonna, basically, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be it for my I hope. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, so we've got the four, first 4680. This yeah. one is going to charity. So if you would like to buy the first battery that came out of the pack, the proceeds are going to charity. All the information will be on their video that we'll link at, in the description. This sword is funny, Sharp. This is from the Zulu Wars. I actually had, uh, one of my uh, great uncles was in the Zulu Wars, and uh, that came back. That came back from the Zulu Wars. This
This is the long spear. Zulus, as a rule, when they were beating up the British army, they used a short spear. Uh, but, uh, but they also used that as a throwing spear as well. How much of this innovation, when you look at Tesla's, has, is to do with Elon Musk? When considering he's not a car engineer, he's not done this oh, stuff before, but... Way beyond a car engineer. <laughs> now um, he is. I mean, he's, he's like... Uh, Corey and I have seen him live and in action in a design review when we were in Texas. And he can rattle off formulas that I've never even seen before off the top of his head. Now, Elon Musk wow. is a genius when it comes to engineering. Anything to do with, uh, with, with engineering. So it doesn't matter whether it's... This is uh, thermal and, uh, and hydraulic engineering. Um, that's chemical engineering for the most part. These things over here, uh, electric and electronic engineering, he, he can handle anything. I'm telling you right now, I, I work for lots of uh, big companies. Big companies have a lot of rules and they have a lot of roadblocks to keep people from doing anything that's revolutionary. And the reason for that is because um, too many engineers and too many executives got an MBA. An MBA is the fastest way to stop progress. They'll always say, because the right answer to get promoted is no. Just say no, you can't go wrong. You can't go, it's not possible to go wrong. It's all you gotta do is say no. And tragically, that's the way it's been. But um, it's, it's interesting because a lot of you guys will be like, you're such a Tesla fanboy. But I am blown away with Elon Musk, kind of like the genius of him and how he pushes people to take risks. When I was at Starbase a week ago, I met an engineer for SpaceX and he had been out of college for a year and a half and he was telling me the things that he was doing. He was working on the ceramic that goes on, the heat shields. He was helping with the pumps that just blew up to try to figure out how to fix it. And the things that he was telling me, I'm thinking, if this guy would have gone to NASA or like any other big company, it would have taken him years and years to get to the point to be able to do the things that he's doing. And that's one thing I really like when it comes to innovation and entrepreneurship that Elon does. Yes, he is very smart and he's pushing people to develop these valves and these parts. He also hires really good people and lets them take risks and lets them do things that maybe they wouldn't be able to do before. So anyway, Elon Musk, yes, I know I'm a fan. All you guys in the comments will be like, why do you always talk about Elon like he's so amazing? Well, he is kind of like the genius of our time period. and. Sounds really weird, but I feel like we're lucky to have him on Earth right now making these decisions and moving things forward. Yes, this is just cars, but it's changing a lot of things. Show me the guy in, uh, in any company, I don't care which one it is, that can take his place, and there isn't any. So you're good at innovation and predicting things. Will we ever have a Roadster? A Roadster? The Tesla Roadster, will he ever come out with it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, there's no question in my okay, mind. Okay, good. Whew, because I get a free one of those and I'm really counting on it someday. I'd love to get that. My kids are growing up. They're almost out of the house. I want to take them on a ride when they're still kids, but 2017, I rode in the prototype and now we're 2022 and probably isn't even going to be a 2023 Cybertruck, hopefully next year, Elon says, but 2024, maybe Roadster is that sounds like that's the year. I showed you there's a headlight earlier that was Rivian. Check this out, you just have random cars here. This would be the Rivian truck. I know that because here's the golf club tunnel right there where you put your golf clubs, or the gear tunnel as people call it. But yeah, there we go. RJ, where you at? This is your car. So there's the Model Y body that the 4680 batteries came out of right there. It's also got the big Oh, the Giga casting. So this is the Model Y that the batteries came from and it's out of Austin. The other innovation with this vehicle is that they have that Giga press where they do the Giga casting and it puts it all together and it eliminates something like, I don't know, what is it? Like 150 points? 171 parts go down to two parts. <laughs> Look at that. And it gets rid of 1,600 spot wells. Spot wells? What's a spot well? Weld is even, oh, a weld, a weld, I gotcha, yeah, a weld, right. gotcha, okay. These are the kind of random things you see when you walk around here at Monroe and Associates. Warning, strong magnet. Closer to your watch. <laughs> <laughs> my watch, my camera, my phone, everything yeah. right there. This has been really fun. I've been here for a while. I probably am not showing everything that I've seen here, but I've learned so much about electric cars. And it's amazing to see the effect that Monroe and Associates has. I mean, they're been, they've been a big company for years and years and years. And now because of some YouTube videos, you've become, Sandy has become like a superhero to the, to the Tesla fans. In fact, this last weekend, he was at a thing in California with 2,400 people, standing ovations 
Signing babies, everything, right? <laughs> babies? Did you sign any babies? I, I signed t-shirts for a baby, but I didn't <laughs> sign the babies. No babies. <laughs> so he's become like super, super popular. And that's one thing I love about Tesla is that it's created a culture. Some call it a cult, but I also think it's people that are fanatic about a business because they make good products, they're fun, they're innovating. And uh, so much so that how, how do you have your own bobblehead? Where did this come from? Not me. This was Corey and uh, my wife, Sue. Uh, they, uh, they, I think it was Corey's idea and then Sue kind of, uh, uh, she was the one, my wife is the CEO here. Doctor. Oh, nice. She's got a doctor in, in, uh, in engineering. But anyway, they came up with it and uh, I didn't know about it until it showed up. And my first reaction was, this looks kind of creepy, but, uh, but anyway, so I've got one right here that I'm going to sign for you. Oh, and then you're going to sign one for me. Oh, look at this guy <laughs> signing the bobblehead. I'm blown away and I hope that I put a lot of it in the video because it's been a blast. Sandy, thank you for letting me come. Oh, you are a legend and, and worthy of having well, the bobblehead. Well, thank you. So keep up the good work. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Can I buy one and give one away to somebody watching this video right now? Well, we will well, you got that one. We'll I want one, one in my studio for sure. Like I want one of these guys sitting in my studio, but I'd love to give one away. Well, yeah, no problem. I, I, we can do that. Okay. All right. If you would like a Sandy authentic <laughs> bobblehead, <laughs> it is very high quality. The best engineers designed this bobblehead. That's right. And uh, it could be yours. It really could. You could put this in your living room, in your bedroom, <laughs> right next to the TV maybe. I'll put the rules in the description. All you need to do is go check out their YouTube channel, give it a subscribe and go follow them on Twitter and go follow us on Twitter also. And we'll pick one of you guys to have the Sandy bobblehead. I told them I was going to the airport and I was taking an Uber and they're like, no, we'll just have one of our guys drive you in our Ford F-150 Lightning. <laughs> so we got a there Lightning. You go. I get it And ride. you do, and you will. And Andrew's a good driver and uh, he hasn't, Bumped into anything in days. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, good to know. Good. All right, Ford F 150 Lightning. Perfect way to end the electric cars video. Thanks for watching, guys.